50 years ago, the pocket calculator was invented, a revolutionary technology that people use to spell boobs. <laughs> and we've been finding ways to turn new technology into dirty stuff ever since. <laughs> there have been plenty of advances in female robots, but unfortunately, most have been in the blowjob sector. <laughs> this is very scary, guys. We are on the brink of real life Westworld. I am a prototype of a very exciting new form of adult companionship. I am equipped with sensors to maximize my effectiveness during sexual activity. Her hips move back and forth, her legs, her head moves up and down uh, to create an amazing experience. You cannot catch a disease from her. She cannot say no to you. Ah! <laughs> oh. Oh. Patrick Len, an ethicist who specializes in robotics, warns that once the line between robots and humans becomes blurred, people will become less likely to seek consent. I mean, a lot of guys already have a hard time seeking consent, so it's just gonna get way worse for real women when they start selling lifelike bots at Costco. Uh, <laughs> real good prices, though, I bet, you know? You gotta get the card. Get that card. You gotta get the they card. They take traveler's checks. They do? Yeah. Oh. But ethics aside, guys, I know it sounds appealing to hump a fembot who won't argue with you when you say Adam Carolla's underrated. <laughs> But then you're gonna have a big clunky robot that you have to hide when your parents stop by. <laughs> if you just want something to stick your dick in, be efficient about it. And maybe get something that can vacuum your apartment too. So glad you guys are here. Come yeah, on in. Too. This place looks great. I'm excited for you guys to finally meet her. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this. Better get used to it. <laughs> it's the future. Come on, sexy lady. Karen. Wow, nice to uh, meet you. She's pretty hot. Yeah, she is. No, I mean literally. If I leave her on for more than four hours, she overheats. <laughs> Want a beer? Yes. All right. <laughs> no, you can have so much fun. <laughs> so much fun. How did you do that? So, did you vote? Oh, you want his annex? <laughs> Cheers. It's literally the best relationship I've ever had. I've never been with someone who listens so well. I love how shrill she isn't. Right? Well, if I'm being honest, it's not the first time I've talked to someone with no opinions. I'm just having a problem with this whole top deck vagina thing. <laughs> oh, God. Are you done with her? I just turn her off. <laughs> She's like a dream. A dream that never loses suction. <laughs> Dude, you are on fire with the jokes tonight. Classic. Maybe it would be great just to have it out there, just blowing in the wind. Yeah. What do you do when you get annoyed at him and you don't want to have sex? You fake it? Genius! <laughs> High five. I just turn her off. No, you know what? F this. You deserve better. I'm getting you out of here. It's okay. I helped a Dyson airplane start a new life in Minneapolis. She married a hand blender and they're currently raising two adorable milk frothers. Oh, what a beautiful family. I know. They could have put on clothes for the picture, but it's fine. Ah.